About 2,200 people in Pima County are homeless. That's according to the most recent point in time count. But they will not be the only ones impacted by an upcoming Supreme Court decision. Oral arguments just finished in the case against Grants Pass, Oregon, a small town that wants to make it illegal for people to sleep on public land. Uh, homeless people who sued call that cruel and unusual punishment. The implications of the court's decision will stretch far beyond Oregon. 13 finder uh, Brooke Wagner has been looking into this. Now, Brooke, how could the ruling affect Pima County? Well, some say it could make our streets safer, while others say it will criminalize being homeless. 13 News just reported the Tucson City Council is drafting an ordinance banning camping and washes to protect people and the environment. But leaders are biding time, cautiously awaiting this ruling. Tucson's homeless encampment protocol is initiated when a camp poses a public safety, criminal or health threat. The city can respond with cleanup, outreach or enforcement. But then in Phoenix, officers told us they have been instructed to ticket people camping while the ACLU claims that's unconstitutional. A federal court ruled a couple of years ago that the city cannot enforce any camping bans when there aren't enough shelter beds. And that's exactly the situation the Supreme Court is looking at. But homeless advocates say a ruling for the city could criminalize being homeless and set back solutions trying to criminalize the fact that someone exists when they happen to exist in a park is concerning. Um, it'll be much more difficult to assist people if we can't find them and if they're pushed out of public locations and afraid of showing their face in public, it will be much more difficult to find them, making the solutions much more difficult to achieve. Home helps people get rehoused based on the idea that communities are safer and healthier when everyone has a home. But Nanaka says she'd expect to have more people drop out of the process if visible homelessness became a crime. It's such a delicate issue. Neither the city of Tucson nor Pima County would talk about the case, but the county telling me, quote, depending on that ruling, the county will review state and local ordinances to determine what effect there might be. And a city of Tucson spokesman wrote to me, city attorney Rankin will advise the mayor and council after having the opportunity to review whatever ruling is handed down. The city of Tucson continues to work with our partners to provide outreach to unhoused community members to connect them with services and opportunities for more permanent housing. A decision is expected in July. Brooke Wagner, 13 Fact Finders.